So as I mentioned earlier today, this is a special occasion. Uh, and I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, the presentation of the award we're about to make recognizes what you all do here at CCAD each and every day. The Donald F. Luce Award for Depot Maintenance Artisan of the Year, uh, which is sponsored by Quad A, is presented annually to the person who has made an outstanding individual contribution to Army Aviation in the area of depot maintenance during the awards period from 1 July through 30 June. CCAD has uh, graciously put together a brief video uh, about Don Luce and as a way of kind of framing the background of what this award means and what it's set about. So I would ask you to please roll the video. For over 50 years, Lieutenant Colonel Donald F. Luce dedicated himself to improving and sustaining an Army aviation program that could fully support the U.S. Army in peace and war. Don learned to fly at the age of 16, and in 1942, at 17 years of age, he joined the Civil Air Patrol and flew submarine watch as a pilot and observer. In the 1950s, he served in U.S. Army Europe and is credited for establishing the Heidelberg Army Airfield. He was then assigned to what later became known as the U.S. Army Aviation and Troop Command. From, From 1959, 1959 to 1961, he sought and obtained approval for the Army to assume from the U.S. Air Force the capability to research, develop, and procure its own aircraft. And so, in 1961, he was part of the team which secured approval for the Army to have its own depot maintenance facility, now known as the Corpus Christi Army Depot. Lieutenant Colonel Donald F. Luce was the first Director of Maintenance of the Corpus Christi Army Depot and was responsible for depot maintenance support of all Army aircraft during the critical years of the Vietnam War. During those years, he initiated numerous support programs such as the spectrometric oil analysis, in-house overhaul of aircraft and components, and retrograde of battle-damaged aircraft. In, in 1969, 1969, he retired with a well-deserved reputation as a mover and a shaker, a man who got things done. Even in his retirement years, he continued to support Army aviation. After his move to St. Louis, he represented Avco Lycoming, the prime producer of T-53 and T-55 turbine engines. Over the years, he established three Quad A chapters and served as the president for each. He co-founded the annual Quad A Product Support Symposium and served as governor of the Quad A Scholarship Foundation. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Donald F. Luce made a significant impact in Army Aviation Depot maintenance and so it is fitting that an award be created in reflection of his selfless contribution, veracity, and commitment to excellence. Sponsored by the Quad A, this national award is presented to the person who has made an outstanding individual contribution to Army Aviation in the area of depot maintenance during the award period encompassing July 1st to June 30th. Corpus Christi Army Depot congratulates this year's recipient of the Donald F. Luce Depot Maintenance Artisan Award. I would uh, now ask if I could have uh, Major General Doug Gabram, uh, the CG of AMCOM and our keynote speaker, to join me on stage along with Colonel Lassalette, the uh, uh, CCAD uh, commander. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 27, I mean 2017 Donald F. Luce Depot Maintenance Artisan of the Year Award is Mr. George M. Gonzalez. Junior, from Corpus Christi Army Depot. Please come forward to receive your award. The Army Aviation Association of America 
2017 Donald F. Luce Depot Maintenance Artisan Award is presented to Mr. George M. Gonzalez, Jr. of the Corpus Christi Army Depot, Corpus Christi, Texas. Mr. George M. Gonzalez, Jr. displayed exceptional leadership skills and a sustained superior performance of his duties while serving as a work leader and acting supervisor for the Black Hawk Assembly Line at the Corpus Christi Army Depot. His work ethic and devotion to duty were evident during an arms inspection which resulted in zero discrepancies noted for the Recapitalization Assembly Section 2. As acting supervisor for the Black Hawk Assembly Section 2, he was instrumental in reducing the average turnaround time from 45 days to 32 days, while reducing the aircraft mechanic defect rate during the aircraft final inspection by 40%, culminating in the completion of the fiscal year 2016 production goals. His engaging leadership continues to be the driving force in the successful completion of the Black Hawk recapitalization aircraft on time and under budget during the assembly phase to include a record-setting 17-day aircraft build, a milestone never achieved in the history of the program. His genuine concern for others fosters a team-oriented environment and its positive impact is directly evident in the morale of the entire branch. He successfully coordinates maintenance tasks between aircraft mechanics, sheet metal artisans, and avionics electrical technicians, including the quality control branch. Mr. Gonzalez's distinctive accomplishments and contributions clearly identify him as the 2017 Quad A Donald F. Luce Depot Maintenance Artisan of the Year. Thank you, sir. I want to thank the uh, Quad A organizers uh, and the Luther Jones family, the Luce family. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. <clears throat> it is a great honor to receive this award. Um, it's a, definitely the highlight of my career. To my CCAD team, I see you got a lot of y'all out there, uh, some coworkers, some supervisors, some division chiefs. Thank you for coming. <clears throat> you guys are this, the point of the spear, the ambassadors of aviation. I want to tell you a little bit about two people that have had a direct impact in my life. My father, who showed me respect, discipline, and to be strong. And the other person is my wife, Lori, two-time cancer survivor. She has shown me never to ever give up. She's shown me how to be the best that I can be and to go after the things that I've always dreamed about doing. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you and have a good Army Aviation Day. Thank you again. While uh, George is going back to his seat, I'd ask Lori to stand up for a minute. What an amazing woman. Thank you, Lori, for all you do. Thank you. 